Good morning, Patrick Medford. I'm just Mel Verde. And I'm Stella Wilkins. And, and this, this is, is Raider, Raider TV. TV. In this broadcast, we'll take a look at the ROTC Air Force presentations, another Pauline on the Scene segment featuring the women's golf team, and coverage for the Bash Awards at South Hold High School. Welcome to my house. Play that music to turn it out. Show me what you do now. We don't have to go out. It's my house. Last week, Padmet had the pleasure of hosting members of the Air Force. These members range from maintenance workers to pilots. They provided valuable insight towards their beliefs and motivation regarding the Air Force. We had the opportunity to talk with some of these people. Let's hear what they had to say. Hi, my name is Justin Valverde and this is Raider TV. I'm here with... Loco Lopez, F-22 demonstration team. What motivated you to start uh, flying? Uh, the thing that motivated me to start flying was growing up in Virginia Beach. Uh, I grew up uh, watching the Navy F-18 Hornets and F-14 Tomcats flying over our house. And that's what inspired me to fly because I would look up in the sky and be like, wow, what would it be like to be in a fighter jet? As well as what would it be like to fly information with somebody? And here I am living my dream. What's the most exciting part of flying? The most exciting part about flying is knowing that you're part of a team and that it takes a team of individuals to come together to, to generate a safe airplane for you and for as well as a team of instructors who have trained you to, to successfully uh, complete your mission. I'm here with Tyler Van Watermulen, F-22 Avionics. And, uh, how would you describe the nature of your work? Um, extremely hands-on. We're constantly troubleshooting um, at our home station every day. Different aircraft have different problems and you're always learning. Uh, different people across different backgrounds bring in different expertise and so you're always learning an, either a newer, a more efficient way to do something or uh, the aircraft itself is developing over time as well. We have different software updates and so you're learning different things all the time about, uh, about your aircraft that you never knew because it, it evolves with you also. I'm here with Sly. Sly? Yeah. Uh, so what inspired you to start flying? Well, you know, growing up as a kid, I've always loved aviation. I uh, had a lot of family that was in the military, um, but growing up on Long Island, it was just, you know, with the aviation all around us, uh, it was just kind of easy transition to uh, join the Air Force after college and uh, never look back, so. And could you take us through the day in the life of, uh, of a pilot? Sure. Um, just like Logo said, our normal official events start around 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, most guys will show up a little bit early around 6 to do, you know, work out to do physical training based upon the demands that the airplane puts on your body. Uh, we'll, on the days that we fly, we'll normally um, you know, spend about two hours talking about the mission we're about to go fly. Um, we'll then go out to the airplanes and it'll take about another hour and a half to actually fly the mission itself. And then at that point, once we come back on the ground, get some meat real fast, uh, and then spend anywhere, you know, spend a couple hours actually debriefing the mission, learning from our mistakes, and trying to get, uh, get much better from the flying experience there. It's time for yet another Pauline on the scene. We had Pauline Bozak go out on the green and test her luck. Green? Scene? Oh my god, Stella, you're a genius. Let's tune in to this special episode of Pauline on the Green. Hi, welcome back to Pauline on the Scene, or shall I say Pauline on the Green. Oh, 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 oh. excited for today's match. I'm super excited. Uh, Liv and I are playing one and two and we're just gonna go out there, have fun, do the best we can. How has the season been going? We started out rough. Uh, we had a lot of newcomers this year, uh, but as the season's gone on, we've gotten better and better every match. What's your favorite thing about coaching girls golf? I don't have one. Uh, being able to come out here on nice days like this and watch the girls play and enjoy themselves and try to improve every day. Is it Z? No. No. It's Bash, Justin. No. Speaking of Bash, Pat Med attended South Hold High School's Bash Awards. Let's go look at some of that footage. Now they always say congratulations. congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation. Hi, I'm 
Justin Valverde. And I'm Nicolette Savatieri, and we're at BASH. Sponsored by Soho TV. Uh, Mr. Wesnowski, how does it feel being able to put together an event like this? Oh, it is quite remarkable. We've got 19 schools here, over 300 kids, um, ranging all the way from Nassau and Suffolk County, so it's pretty crazy. Um, do you have any plans for a future bash? Our goal is to hopefully have, uh, it's going to outgrow our venue because we're a small school. We only have about uh, 780 kids, K-12. through That's like a one grade of Fat Med. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so we're hoping that a college would actually take this over, whether Stony Brook, Hofstra, Adelphi, or uh, LIU Post. We're open to any of them. Hi, I'm Sarah Emmer. And I'm Andreas Rennan. And we're reporting for Raider TV. And today we are here with... Juliet Rand. Okay, and we just want to ask you a couple of questions. Um, what do you think all of us will get out of from this experience today? Um, well, I think you'll definitely get some constructive criticism from the judges, and you're going to be able to sit and listen to them and learn about what they do. And I think you'll learn a lot from that, from all the different people and all their experiences. So I think it's going to be a very instructional ceremony. You know? How much time and work has gone into making this event possible? Well, our classes have been working for about a week, but the teachers probably preparing for a month or so. It takes a lot of time and effort to run something like this, and I think they're doing a really good job. It really pulled together very nicely. So what was your expectation coming to Bash? Well, of course, uh, we're going to see great films, and as always, we hope that we can be a, an award winner, or at least recognized for the work that we do. Uh, how do you feel like an event like this has been put together? Brilliantly. Um, if you look around, you can see the amount of effort that the sponsors have done. Um, South Hall schools have really done a fabulous job for us. Well, Stone, it's finally done. We just finished hosting our very last broadcast. We would like to thank our advisors, administration, and most of all, Macrea for their continued support. We would also like to thank all of those who have viewed our broadcast in the past. We look forward to seeing what next year holds for this program with Nicolette, Sarah, and Andres behind the desk. So I guess it's time. I suppose it's only right that we look back on all we've done throughout the year. Roll the tape! Good morning, Patchogue Medford. This is Justin Malverde, and this is Raider TV, a new segment from The Red and Black. Good morning, Patrick Medford. Today is October 6th. My name is Justin Medford. And I'm joined here by our newest co-anchor, Stella Wilkins. Thanks, Justin. It really is an honor to be part of the team here at Raider TV. I know. So are you like a dog's person or a cat's person? Well, I'm always a dog person. There's no question hey, about it. Hey, you. Have you seen Jonathan Ochoa's new segment? No. Well, you should. Psh, uncultured. What's with the wave? This week, we had the opportunity to film with Dr. Hines. Let's catch up with him in our exclusive homecoming promo. Hines, catch up. Hey, Stella, mistletoe. Let's take a look at Jonathan's new man on the street. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I making too much noise? <laughs> Stella, do you plan on going to the musical? Justin, I'm in the musical. Oh, what do you do? Fit. Oh, so pretty much nothing. Kind of like your role here on Raider TV. Breaking news. Raider TV will be auditioning for new co-anchors. What, what the? the a chemistry experiment with our very own Alex Torres. Chemistry? Don't you mean potions class? No. What place did you come in? Dead last. So if you could be the best at anything, what would it be? State wrestling champ. Ah, my arm! <laughs> I think it's broken. Say yes, Stella. Until next time, Pat Med. Raider TV wishes you a happy and safe Halloween. Happy holidays from Raider TV. See you then. See you then. See you next time on, on Raider, Raider TV. TV.